Hello, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So in this lesson, we're going to explore the question commonly termed as the excess and shortage. Let's take a look. Mrs. Tan has some lollipops. If she gives six lollipops to each of her students, she will have an excess of four lollipops. If she gives eight lollipops to each of her students, she will need another 12 lollipops. How many students does Mrs. Tan give the lollipops to? Part A. Part B. How many lollipops does Mrs. Tan have? So, if and if, these are basically scenarios. Alright, so they never happen. The actual number of lollipops is always the same in both scenarios. So if this is my actual number of lollipops, okay, from this point to that, in both scenarios it will always be the same. So taking a look at scenario one, what happens if she gives six lollipops? She will have an excess of four. So she did not use up all her lollipops and the model drawn should be shorter than that of the blue. Okay, and then we have another four left. So in this case, each student has six lollipops. In scenario two, she gives eight lollipops to each of the students, she will need another 12. So she needs more than what she has. So the model should be longer than this blue block by 12. Agree? So this is how much she will need, the number of lollipops she will need in order to give eight lollipops to each student. And since we don't know the actual total number of lollipops, we have to work along the difference. The difference between the total in both scenarios and the difference between what, what each student has in both scenarios. So let's take a look here. And at this point in time, you may want to see scenario 2 and um, as a continuation of scenario 1. So meaning to say that scenario 1 is actually at first and scenario 2 is in the end. So right now, each student already has 6 lollipops. In order to give 2 more to make us 8, how many more lollipops does Mrs. Tan need to have? Okay, so as a continuation, remember that. So, whatever the excess of 4, she must used up. And after using up this four extra lollipop, she still does not have enough. She still need another 12. So in total, she needs four plus 12, which is 16. She needs 16 more lollipops. So much so that now, each student will have eight lollipop instead of six. Okay, so once you understood this part, Okay, 16, a total of 16 lollipops is needed. So the next thing is, what is the difference, what is the increment in the number of lollipops that each student has? So from 8, from 6 to 8 is actually a difference of 2 or 2 more. Okay, so I have 16 lollipops and each student now have two more so I have to give two 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 so how many students can I give two so that I will use up all 16 number sen sentence 16 divided by 2 and they give us eight eight students so in order to answer part B you can choose either scenarios you can use scenario 1 or scenario 2 let's take a look when you use scenario 1 we can use scenario 2 to check so using scenario 1 six lollipops each for um, to each student so total I will need 8 times 6 which is 48 but we know that in terms of the actual number of lollipops there is an extra excess of 4 lollipops so I have to add back the 4 which is 52 so Mrs. Tan has 52 lollipops now using scenario 2 to check our answer so 
if she were to give eight lollipops, so eight times eight give me sixty four. But she does not have enough, so you take away the twelve, which is fifty two. So fifty two is the actual number of lollipops. As simple as that, a four step solution. So that's it. <laughs> you solve the question and provide and the fact that you can actually check your work using scenario two means to say that if students understand this concept, you can score full marks. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if it's beneficial. A dislike if this is not good. And I hope to see you again. And if you um, hope to see more of such videos, subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Have a nice day and love math. <laughs> okay, see you again. Goodbye.